Welcome back to Brush Up Your Game. Today, Squirrel Girl for Marvel United. Now, Squirrel Girl, when we get to the cards, not that impressive. Three move symbols, one heroic, redeeming fact of a, of a wild, a bonus wild, seven punches. Not that many symbols overall. In fact, you can even see this blank. And, and you go, okay, what, what, what gives? Well, before we get into the specials, let's break down the card action distribution. We got two of these move punch cards, which are great cards. We have the single move. Never truly a fan of that. A couple of single punch. Okay, fine. We can live with those. A double punch. Not bad. Single heroic. Yeah. We'll live kind of on the same vein of single punch. Okay, it's okay. But... That means that four of her seven non-special cards are single actions. Plus, we throw in these. Real, really, she only has three of three of the ten, four of the twelve cards in her deck being double actions. Not the best. But we're going to get to the special cards here. Uh, we're going to go in reverse order here. Night Vision. Reveal the top card of the Master Plan deck. You may put it at the bottom. Not the most common ability. Very important ability, though. This, this is one, right? I talked about it with Kingpin. And being able to put, uh, put a Master Plan card on the bottom. If you can spot that... Uh, the, the Collect... The, the plan number and put that on onto the bottom of the deck. It's going to help you out a lot. Uh, arcade with the guessing a number. You, you spy a card, put it on the bottom. Again, you have kind of gamed the game, but this helps you out. And the more you can do that, the better off you're going to be. Um, again, it's not amazing. Night Vision is not an amazing special ability. It's kind of middling. We can live with middling, but the advantage here is it does have a wild. And transferring that wild, giving yourself a wild, gives you a fair bit of flexibility here. Squirrel Army, deal one damage to a single enemy in every location. That can be very potent. You, you have a, a villain with a lot of uh, henchmen. This is where you're going to be able to chip away at all of them. You can take out thugs. You can use this to hit the villain overall once he's susceptible to damage, plus clear locations. This has a ton of flexibility. Um, again, it's not amazing, but it, it can be really good. Y you are potentially doing six of the nine required defeat thugs with this card. That, that can be a game changer for you. If you think about it in those terms, it's like, oh, oh, wait, yeah, that works. And then we get common sense. And this is probably the best special action card in the game. If the number of your special effect cards in the storyline is greater than the villain's current health, the heroes win the game. Done. So common sense alone does not win you the game. But common sense plus squirrel army, two, villains down at one health, you win the game. Play all three, villains at two health, you win the game. Maybe you're up against Bob, Bob has one health, you play a special card and then you play common sense, you win the game. You don't even have to make him susceptible to damage, you just win the game. Right there. It's a cheat code. It's 100% a cheat code. I, I will not lie i will not uh make any bones about that but squirrel girl can get you out of a jam that you thought oh i i don't have any way of getting to the villain and doing the last two damage that i need to but i have this card and we win she's a lifesaver and that alone makes squirrel girl a very very good character in Marvel United. 
It's not her symbols, although they're not terrible. But it's the special abilities. And she does have pretty good special abilities overall. And I, I very much like that about her. Anyway, um, yeah. Let me know what you think about Squirrel Girl. Have you used common sense to pull a win out from what was assuredly a loss? Um, let me know. Tell me the tale. Until next time, keep brushing up your game. Take care. <laughs>